Hey my friends, Sean Tierney here coming to you from the studios at theautomationschool.com and in this episode of The Automation Show we're going to try to get a Piano View 800 to communicate on DH45 and display information from our uh, Compact Logics, MicroLogics, and Slick 500. And uh, if you want to see what this uh, Piano V800 looks like, you can go back to my unboxing of the Micro 850 starter pack. I kind of cover all the uh, hardware details there. So with that said, before we get over on the computer and start programming, I just wanted to say a huge shout out to my patrons over at patreon.com forward slash automation. If you'd like to support the show and get some free rewards and become an insider, check out our site, patreon.com forward slash automation. And with that said, let's go over into the computer here. And I got RS Links Classic open. I'm using my UIC as well as my KF3. They're both connected. And you can see all the devices on the network. The one thing that I still don't understand is my control logics does not show up with the UIC. Isn't that weird? But in any case, um, it works with the KF3. So uh, we'll just uh, go with that. So let me um, alt tab over to CCW. There we go. And here in CCW, we're going to create a new project. Oh, we could just use this link right here. And we're going to call this PV8 DH485. All right, create. And that'll just take a moment. Now we'll choose the device. And we have a Piano V800 T4T. Okay, so we'll select that, add the project, and away we go. All right, the first thing we want to do, let's double click on that. And we're going to do a landscape project. And here, we're going to do serial DH485. Okay, and now we have to add our PLCs in. And a strange thing here, um, you can see, it's only letting us choose Slick 500 or MicroLogics. It's not letting us choose Control Logics or Compact Logics. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and add in here. We'll uh, do our SLC 504. Okay. And let's add another one. We'll do our, let's do the MicroLogics. We'll do the 1200 this time. Change it to MicroLogics. And I'm going to add in my uh, control logics or my compact logics, L23E. Um, that uh, a very nice man, uh, Rich K, uh, donated to the uh, show um, a few years back. And uh, really, really nice. He donated a few things here. So um, that L23, though, since I can't choose logics, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to say it's a slick. But that means I'm going to have to map um, my tags to an inter files, which is kind of sad. But, hey, we can only do what we can do, right? So... Let's see here. What address is the 504 on? The 504... Uh, wait a minute. This is a 503. Why did I put 504 in there? I was thinking Data Hover Plus. So, that's at address 3. The 1200 is at address 12, and the L23 is at address 23. Okay. Timing. Well, every one second is way too slow. Let's do every 250 milliseconds. Okay, and that seems to update... No, i got to do it for each one. Okay, and one more. 250. Excellent. Okay, so I have my three nodes. Now, for me to get to addresses in that L23, as if they're N7s, what I'm going to have to do is open up that program. And here, under Logic, Map PLC SLC Messages, I'm going to have to map an, an integer file, in this case N7 or 7. You just put the file number in, you know, it doesn't care what type of file it is. So 7, I'm mapping that to something called molds. Let me show you that tag there. So here you can see this molds has all kinds of data in it. It has 50 uh, ints in it, so it's an array of ints I made. And what I actually did was... I copied data from my mold tags into that array. So I had to put some code in here to move all the right data into the right words. So a lot of work. 
um, if you want your control logics to appear to be a Slick 500 micro logics using that um, map PLC SLC messages. It really depends on how you create your program, but because I used for my factory talk view class, I wanted to show students what happened if you had a, uh, a user defined data type. And so to now map that into one array of 50 ints, I had to do a lot of moves. Um, but with that done, right? I now know that I'll be able to talk to him as if he was a Slick 500 or a PLC 5 or MicroLogix. Okay, so after all that's said and done, everything here is great. This port is the second port, so it's the uh, 485 port, and then the address of this guy's two. And this is where I had RS links up here, just to make sure there's no other twos. Nope, we got a three, but not a two. Okay, so we'll make him two. All right, so this part's done. So now what we want to do, let me save that. We'll go to tags, okay? We'll add some tags. And uh, for the sake of brevity, I'll just do uh, one from each. So we'll do SLC 503 underscore mold speed one. Okay, and that address will be, whoops, let me select the controller here first. And then that address will be, let's see, N7 colon, 53. Now we'll add another tag. We'll call this MicroLogix 1200 underscore mold speed one. That also will be N7 colon 53, but that will be our MicroLogix 1200. And then finally, we'll add in our L23 E, but this one is going to be N7 colon three because um, I remapped everything into that 50 word array. So that's a little different. Okay, so that's done. All right, so now we'll go to our display here. We get a default display, screen one. And let's go over here to the toolbox. And what we'll want is some text. Drag and drop that here. And we'll call this uh, SLC 503. Okay, and then we'll want a numeric display here. Go back to the toolbox. We will do numeric display way down here. Okay. All right, let's go into there. Oh, now that we got the properties up. Let's go into the connection. Whoops, it tried to create a new tag. No, I do not want a new tag. I want to go to this one right there. Okay. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, good. So that's the default go to config button we get. So if I click on this, we can see that it's reading tag SLC 503 mold speed one. Okay, so now let's select both of these. I'll do control C and control V twice. Okay, I'll put this guy over here. And we'll put this guy control key to multi select there. Let's align these guys to the tops here. Same with these guys. Okay, excellent. We'll change this to ML 1200. We'll change this one to L23E. We'll change this to 1200 mold speed one. And we'll change this one to, oh, uh, where is it? Do we only call it L23? Let me go back to my tags. Yes, I should have put a underscore mold speed one in there. And we'll delete this extra tag. Go back to our screen. Let's just see if that updated automatically. Yes, it did. That's good. So at this point, we should be ready. Let's go ahead and save our project. We'll come back here. And now we'll do a download. Okay. Okay, it says no errors. Now it's saying, hey, how do you want to download? We'll download over, uh, we could do the UAC or the, no, it doesn't show up here. Let's do Ethernet. But for us to do Ethernet, I got to plug it in here. So, put the Ethernet cable in there. Okay. Excellent. So now, let's find it on Ethernet. There it is. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and download to it. Okay, now it says this was successful. It's asking, do I want to start it? Yes, I do. Okay, and now you can see it's working. It's reading in data from a Slick 500 Micrologix and L23 over DH485. So, you know, the only problem with doing this was that we had to do that map SLC PLC uh, messages and logics because for some reason this guy doesn't support logics directly over DH485, which was odd. But in any case, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the show and become one of our patrons and get insider news and all kinds of free extras, then check out our Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash automation. Now, if you know anybody who wants to learn all about Connected Components Workbench with the Micro 800, and I even do a little bit of Panel View 800 in that course, check out my course Nano Basics over at theautomationschool.com. I cover all four Micro 800s. We do some VFDs, we do some Panel View 800, and that's a really excellent course at a great price. And with that, I just want to thank uh, you for watching. And until next time, my friends, peace.